problem and motivation. Estimating the depth of a thing from a single image is an easy task for humans, but it is difficult for computational models to do with high accuracy and low resource requirements. Depth estimation is the very task of estimating depths from a single RGB image. In order to address this task, we performed various experiments with different parameters and loss functions according to the baseline model. Now let's talk about the methodology that we used in this project. This is an overview of the architecture. It mainly contains two parts. The first part is a modified ResNet 50 model, which extracts a feature from the input RGB image. The second part is a bunch of R projection blocks, which are used to recover the features back to the original resolution. The R projection block is one of the most important parts in this project. We use on pooling layer to double the feature size, which is followed by a 5x5 convolutional layer and a ReLU activation function. However, there is a problem that the R projection makes training too slow. In order to speed up the training, we re-implemented the faster R projection block. The main idea is that during the R projection process, there are only 25% of the feature maps are not zero after unpooling. Therefore, in the paper, they change the original filter to four filters of smaller size. Then the four resulting feature maps are interleaved together to become the final output. This way can generate the same output but can make the training much faster. Here we introduce three loss functions for depth estimation. The first one is pixel-wise L1 loss. This loss calculates the average L1 distance between the predicted depths and ground truth depths in pixel. The second one is also L1 loss, but it calculates the distance with respect to the gradient of depth image in X and Y direction. This term uses gradient to highlight the edges in the depth image. The third one is SSIM loss. SSIM is a index measuring the structure similarity of two images. It, it is less affected by luminance and contrast, but it can be largely affected by noise and distortion. The SSIM index has value from negative 1 to 1, so to use this representation as loss, we must modify it as this formula. Finally, we can integrate it through losses. And to balance the value between this term, we need to uh, introduce a lambda as uh, 0 0.1 on the first loss. Here comes our experiment on depth estimation. We ran our experiment on NYU Depth version 2 dataset, which contains 120,000 RGB and depth image pairs. We followed the experiment setting with the paper. Our initial learning rate is 1e-4. E the learning rate scheduler is set with a decay of 0.5 every 6 epochs. The batch size is set to 32 and we train it by 50 epochs. The optimizer is add on with the four settings. To evaluate our results, we use Five formulas which are mostly used for depth estimation problem. Here is the result of different loss experiments. As shown in the bottom, the integrated loss show the best performance. We also try some trick-like data augmentation. The intuitive idea is to filter out those depth measurements that is very large and not accurate, so that they won't influence the overall estimate. However, the result of this method turns out not to be very good. We think that's because our threshold is not correct, and we need to filter out the extreme value in the test. Here comes our training process and the final result. As you can see, the prediction starts from random noise, then gradually learn the depth information from the RGB images. Our final result is more vague compared to the ground truth, especially at the edge. We think maybe we can add more edge information in the future for improve the training result. Last part is conclusion. In this work, the baseline model we implemented consists in a powerful, single-scale CNN architecture that follows residual learning. It allows for training much deeper configurations, while greatly reducing the number of parameters to be learned and the number of training samples required. We performed various experiments with different parameters and loss functions. The best result of the experiments part shows this parameter settings can be reasonable. We also found that the neural network trained with the integration loss 
achieved better results considering the five evaluation metrics on the whole. This is valuable since a well-designed loss function can lead to better training speed and overall estimation performance.